I'm Claire Davis and I'm very excited today because I have got Hannah Stainer with us today. Hello, Hannah. Hi. Hi, Claire. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you going? I'm good. I'm good, thanks. This is part of our wider series. Find the full interview in the playlist for this series. And I think one of the things I talk about the most is communication and really having that safe, open space where they can come to you and talk about what is going on. Um, and I don't know if you've read The Chimp Paradox, but I'm talking about it all the time. It's fab. <laughs> and mm. as an adult, if you can let go of that emotional, that chimp brain, and let go of any, oh, it's maybe because of me or I'm really concerned, just kind of let go of the emotions a bit and just be the human and just whatever comes out, whatever they say, if they're angry, if they're irritable, because actually that's another sign, that increased irritability. And again, that can be common <laughs> in teenagers as well. But when that's directed to us, we can be a bit upset or hurt. And really, you have to sort of disengage your emotions a little bit, be the adult and just listen to what they're saying. So really communicating to your child that you are there, that maybe you're a bit worried that they seem to be having a difficult time at the moment. And do they want to talk about it? And again, the teenagers, they may say no. <laughs> hey, I'm not talking to you. I don't want to talk about it but let them know that you are there when they want to, if they want to. And this is why sometimes it can help to have a coach or to have maybe another family member who's an aunt or an uncle or someone like that, who is a bit more removed, because that can feel easier to talk to, right? <laughs> than, than talking, because, you know, I'm sure everyone watching is an amazing, amazing parent. But if you think about your own parents, sometimes they irritate you, so <laughs> it might be that there's something in the home dynamic that they're struggling with and so having that slight outside person to talk to because I think we as children as a parent we don't want to upset our parents so there sometimes is that real um, barrier to opening up because they don't want to upset their parents they don't want to burden their parents so it might be that you you're concerned and you say I'm here if you want to talk and it might take a little while for them to open up but just letting them know I'm, I'm here. So thank you very much. It's been fantastic. Your insights are brilliant. Thank you very much, Hannah. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for me. Bye.